Well, a very soggy day yesterday. Let's recap some of that rainfall. We had one to two inches widespread. Van Wert was a big winner. Nearly two inches and a quarter there. We had over an inch and a half for Wapakoneta. Here around Finley and Lima, we had about an inch and a quarter of that rain. So again, a lot of standing water in area ditches and just farmland in general, just a lot of standing water. Now here's the good news today. We're going to see a break from the rain. We do have about a four day stretch of dry weather before another potent system arrives early next week. Now this morning it's chilly. We're starting off here into the 30s and we have some areas of fog as well. It's very low lying moisture in the air. So we have areas especially west here around Van Wert where the visibility is coming in under one mile. So just keep in mind some localized bouts of dense fog up through about 9 a.m. today. But big improvements coming in just very quick order here later this morning. We'll warm things up. We'll bring in some peaks of sunshine. We're already up to 61 by your lunch hour. So what a change here. We'll have some sunshine peeking through those clouds as well. Peaks of sunshine and temperatures that will fall from the low 60s back in the upper 50s as we go into later this afternoon. So let's track that temperature warm up here. It's all thanks to that warm front lifting through. You know, yesterday we had temperatures up in the mid 70s in Dayton. We only hit the mid 30s during the day yesterday. We did hit the 50s last night, only the fall this morning, but the warm front's coming back north today. So that gives us an opportunity here to briefly get to around 60, I think lower 60s for most locations early afternoon. And then getting towards 3 p.m., we'll start to see numbers slowly begin to trail off. And a much colder air mass comes in tonight as temperatures fall back into the 20s by early tomorrow. So again, it's going to be one of those things where you just got to get out there and enjoy because it's not going to last too long as the cold front will come through. Bring, uh, bring it in to the nice warm weather there for tonight and tomorrow. But it does look like we're going to be fairly dry moving forward. Again, we'll have some peaks of sunshine out there today. So looking a lot better than yesterday. The one complaint will be that wind this afternoon, a southwest wind gusting up to 30, 35 miles an hour. It'll stay breezy tonight, but then we'll start to lose a lot of that wind by tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. A very weak disturbance might give us a stray flurry or two early on Saturday. But for the most part, we should be staying dry. Looking at that weekend forecast, it does improve, so we bounce back. It's just like we've seen all winter, where we get cold for a day, and then the next day it gets better. 45 by Saturday, that's still above normal. 52 degrees with partly cloudy skies for our Sunday. It does look like, I do want to note next Monday, some heavy rainfall. We could see another one to two inch rainfall event, so a very wet start as we get into next week.